Um, I want to leave God's protection and watch what you say. Amen. God's protection and watch what you say. And when I say God's protection, if you look on the news and you hear the news, you hear a lot of fear going around with this flu, this flu uh -huh. demon. We call it flu demon. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And it has taken lives. Yeah. It has taken older people's lives. Right. The dream, the, the, the vision that God gave me last week about um, people dying. Remember I told you that the Lord showed me that this year. Do you know last week before last as a confirmation? One of the ladies, sisters from Mantle of Power, she said, Pastor Mark, she said, I want to come to your church. She said, are you in Baskin Ridge? I said, no, I'm not in Baskin Ridge. I'm right here in Raw. I said, we're not far from here. She's one of my Facebook friends. And I said, just Google me. I said, because the information's on my page. So I hope, just look up the hope. And she looked, she said, oh, yeah. She said, I see it. She said, I'm going to come. Went to Paulette's yesterday. She told me the lady died. My God, my God. Wow. Sick with the flu, died, gone. She just told me, never said it before. She just said, Pastor Mark, I want to come to your church. Wow. She said, I thought you were in Baskin Ridge. I said, maybe, maybe she's being prophetic. I may be in Baskin Ridge one day. I'll take that. But I'm saying that to say, which confirmed what God showed me, that 2018 was going to be a year where people would die around me. I just saw the lady a week ago. Went to church Tuesday. She wasn't there. Passed, went home to be with the Lord. This is this stuff is real. I don't, I don't, I, I'm learning how to hear God's voice. I haven't aced it, but I go, I'm learning how to go with what I say. And I said, even when I talk about death, it's not to scare you, it's to prepare you. Yeah, amen. And when God says something, you can take it to the bank. Amen. 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 So you know, life is short, but we want to enjoy our life, and we want we want to enjoy the days that we have here on earth. Let me tell you something. Don't let nobody stress you out. Come on. Amen. Amen. Don't let nobody or nothing stress you out. I'm telling you, in Jesus' name, I want to live long and live strong. Hallelujah. And I want to do what it is that God has called me to do. I have a new project. I'm excited to yes. with my son here with Matt. And I'm excited about it. And I believe that's going to be one of the avenues where God's going to open big doors. But it's another avenue just to help other people and to be a blessing right. to other people. And you'll be hearing about it soon. But I want to go to Psalm 91. And I'm going to read, it's a very familiar passage of scripture, I'm going to read it from the Amplified Bible. Amen. So Father, we thank you for your word that goes forth tonight. Yeah, thank we thank you, Father God, for ears to hear what you're saying to our lives individually, as well as corporately, Father God, and bless those that will see and hear this video in Jesus' name. Very familiar passage of scripture. Psalm 91 from the Amplified says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty whose power no enemy can withstand. Say, no enemy can withstand. It says, I will say of the Lord. This is what we should say. I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. Don't claim the flu and don't claim sickness and disease. Claim that he is my refuge and that he is my fortress. He's my God and whom I trust with great confidence and on whom I rely. We're living in an hour where God is bringing us back to the place where we got to trust him in everything and trust him for everything. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 3 says, For he will save you from the trap of the fowler and from the deadly pe pestilence. He will cover you and completely protect you. Release that over your life. Stop saying, I'm catching the flu. Stop saying, I'm catching a cold. Even if it comes upon your body, release and rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Release Amen. healing over your body. Amen. Release healing over your children. Amen. Release healing. Whose report will you believe? I believe the report of the Lord. And let me tell you something. It's very hard when you're in pain and when you're discomforted to say the right thing. It's hard. It's a challenge. Yes. Yeah. Because when I went through it, was hard, and I just kept saying, Lord, by your stripes, I'm healed. I didn't ace it all the time, but for the most part, I ate it. And we got we to release his word so that word can, his word can get in us and bring, back, bring about the change and the breakthrough that we need. Say his word. His word. Say his word, his word. and not my words. Amen. Yes, yes. Your words have power. But his word has the power. And I want to release the power of God. I want to release his word over my life. Because his, his word is life. Mm -hmm. yeah. The entrance of his word brings life and light. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was tired, but I feel my help. Amen. Lord, Lord, Lord. 
Hallelujah. Verse 4 says, he will cover you completely. He will cover you and completely protect you with his pinions. He covers you and completely. He doesn't half protect you. Come on. He protects you. Say, he protects me. Protects completely you. protects me. Protects and under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a wall. You will not be afraid of the terror of night, nor of the arrows that fly by day, yeah. nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, Amen. nor of the destruction, sudden death, say sudden death, sudden death. that lays wait, turning the page, at noon, a thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but danger will not come near you. Danger will not come near you. Sickness will not come near you. The flu will not come near you. It will not come near you. And if it comes near you, rise up and rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, devil, you might have got me, but I rise up. I rise up in authority. Yeah. I curse this sickness. I curse this disease. I speak life out of my mouth because Proverbs eighteen twenty one says, death and life is in the power of your tongue. We got to speak life. Stop speaking what it looks like. Stop speaking how you feel and declare and decree. Let's get back to the word. Yes, yes, yes. Back to the word. Yeah. Hallelujah. It may be fact that you that, that the flu may come upon you, but the truth is by his stripes I'm healed. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. I'm talking about fact and truth. I want to stand on the truth of God's word until my body lines up with his word and with his will. Amen. Verse 8 says, you will only be a spectator as you look on your eyes, as you look on with your eyes and witness the divine, the, the divine repayment of the wicked as you watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. As you watch, and they're gonna come, you're going to watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. Why will this happen to you? Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. Make the Lord your dwelling place. The Bible says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High yeah. shall abide safely under the shadow of the Almighty. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No evil will befall you, verse 10, and nor will any plague come near your tent or where you live. Yes. Amen? Amen. Y'all excited? Yes. Verse 11 says, for he will command his angels in regard to you to protect and defend and guard you in all your ways of obedience and service. I'm going to read that again. Verse 11 says, For he will command his angels in regard to you to protect and defend and guard you in all your ways of obedience and service. I learned today, as I was teaching class today in Cranford, I learned today that when you speak life and when you speak the wonders of God and when you release the Holy Spirit and you begin to worship and praise God, you release his wonders in the atmosphere. When you begin to praise God and you begin to release just uh, and, and you release God, but when you release complaining and murmuring and sickness and disease and defeat, you release demons. You can't say amen, Sam. I want to release. When we come in here, we're not going to be, which we don't do anyway. We're not going to bicker. Amen. We're not going to gossip. Amen. We ain't talking about a fish dinner, a fish fry, right. an anniversary. Right. 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 Come on. What I'm doing at the church, what I'm cooking for dinner, I, we're going to release the worship and the praise and the wonders of God. That. So we set an atmosphere so when yes. people walk through that door, that they leave change. Yes. 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 People coming here from other states. Talk, take time to talk to people. Let me tell you something. We carry so much power. I talked to someone this week, and she was going through some things. She said, Pastor Mark, I know God had you to call me. Gave her the wisdom of God to turn things around in her home. Amen. We carry the answer, y'all. Come on. Yes. It's not just about church. It's not just coming on Saturday. It's about carrying the answers of God and releasing the prophetic voice into people's lives. So when they drive here from New York and they take the word of the Lord, it changes their home. Amen. It changes their situation. It brings light. It brings life. We're called to bring life to dead situations. That's why we have to come in here with the right attitude and with the right spirit. Because the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You don't come in here on a Saturday night when you could be home watching Lifetime, eating a chicken wing. You don't come here on a Saturday night when you could be shopping and going to. You come. You don't come to see me. You come to hear from God. I would, I would much rather in the flesh and in the spirit I want to be where God is but in the natural I would love to be laying down right about now 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real. But when we come here, I want the wonders of God. Amen. I want to see signs and wonders and miracles. I want to see my sister come in lifted and receive the word of prayer and get hope. And know that she's going to make it. Know that you got a church family behind you. We got your back. Amen. Well, I don't know how I'm going to pay, but that's all right. Let me know. We'll, we'll, we're going to sow into you. That's what family's about. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said the strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. We should be concerned about one another. Amen. And I said, oh, I love you with the love of the Lord. I pray that the Lord uh, meets the need and you sitting on hundreds of thousands of dollars and you're going to pray about it. No, pray and see what God wants you to do. Right. Amen. We're a church, we're a ministry that we pray and do. We'll say, I can't pay. Well, your little $50 and your $100, your $25, your yes. little, oh, oh, the, the need is met. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand of praise. Amen. What verse am I at? 11. Thank you. For he will, he will command his angels in regard to you to protect and defend and guard you in all your ways of obedience and service. They will lift you up in their head and their hands so that you do not even strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lions and cobra. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot because he has set his love on me. Therefore, I will save him. I will set him securely on high because he knows my name. He confidently trusts and relies on me, knowing I will never abandon him. No, never. God will never abandon you. Your friend may abandon you. Your booth they may uh, abandon you. Your ace poon cool may abandon you. But we serve a God that will never abandon you. He said, I will never leave you and never forsake you. Hallelujah. Verse 50 says, he will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. Let everybody say, with long life. I will satisfy him and I will let him see my salvation. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you and just give out some nuggets tonight. But as we're going through this flu season, don't get into that flu talk. Because when two of you agree, <laughs> amen, we won't agree with that. We want to agree with the word of God. And so, well, Pastor Mark, what happened if they get it? Okay, if you already, if you get it or it comes by else, rise up and rebuke it. Speak life over it. Pray, declare and decree. Speak life over yourself. Say, Lord, I thank you that I'm getting better and better and stronger and stronger each day. And I want to get us at, while we're in our hard places, Proverbs 18, 21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. We want to line our mouths up with God's word. And I'm telling you, when it's hard, we, we, when all hell is breaking loose and your back is up against the wall, it's hard to release positive when negativity is all around you. It's naturally hard to, to speak uh, healing when you're sick in your body. But you got to practice it. you got to build yourself up. And if you, can't, if you can't say nothing, just say, God is healing me. Right. Come on. Amen. Amen. While you're going through and you're feeling pain in your body, you're feeling discomfort, call upon the name of Jesus. Just call Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Just practical stuff to help us. Because yeah. things come. The word says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Yeah. But the good news is we don't stay at the afflictions. We know that the God is the one who delivers us oh. out of them all. So that's just a quick word of exhortation I want to release to you tonight. Stay in Psalm 91. Begin to declare and decree his word over you. I'm going, to, I'm going to read it from this translation because this is what we all are familiar with. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His trust shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the hour that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. That is so good. Yes, it is. Yes. Say, it shall not come nigh me. It shall not come nigh me. It shall not come nigh my family. It shall not come nigh my family. It shall not come nigh my home. In Jesus' name. Lord, I put you in remembrance of your word and I stand on it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
nor for the pestilence that walketh at noonday, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is thy refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels, say his angels, angels. charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dr dragon, shalt thou trample under feet, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, the Lord, and I will answer him. And I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him. And honor him. I love that. Say, listen, it says, he shall call upon me. So you shall call upon the Lord. Verse 15. I will answer him. I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you. And I will honor him. Number one. Call, as we, we call upon him. And as we call upon him, he answers us. And as he answers us, he said, I'm not only going to answer you, but I'm going to continue to be with you in trouble. When trouble comes, you're not by yourself. I'm with you. Amen. And while you're in the trouble, not only going to take the trouble, I'm not going to leave you in the trouble, Sister Doris, but I'm going to deliver you from the trouble, and then I'm going to honor you. That's right. And the Lord honors those who honor him. And then he closed out with saying, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. So in this winter month season where flu is all around and sickness is all around, let's take good a grip over ourselves. Let's use wisdom. Let's wear coats, <laughs> let's wear hats, Amen. let's wear gloves. In some cases, if you're in some areas where people are sick, put a mask on. Amen. Take a lights all the work. Amen. 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 Protect yourself. Amen. 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 So that's my word tonight. Psalm 91, continue to read it, continue to get it in your spirit, and continue to do what Proverbs 18.21 says. Speak life. In the midst, and if it's, it's if if you have a hard time with saying the right thing or saying the word of God, let God mature you with it. Say, Holy Spirit, convict me, because we want we don't want to be guilty of defeating ourselves with the words that we speak from out of our mouth. Because Amen. death and life are in the power of your tongue. Speak life over your children. Amen. Speak life over your marriage. Amen. Speak life to single people. Amen. Speak life over your complicated situations. Amen. One thing I love about God, I'm learning about God, you know, everybody's journey is so different. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. so true. I can't put my mouth on someone else's because I don't know what you've been through. I don't know why you are where you are. But I know one thing, God is with you. I know one thing, you're not going to sit on this chair and have a pity party and not do what God called to do. Because God knew all of what you were going to go through before he called you, but he still called you. He knew your struggles that you would have even after he called you, but he still called you. And I just stand on the word of God where he says, my grace is sufficient. So he knows your struggles. He knows your hang ups. He knows your cussing mouth. Y'all not saying nothing. Just look down. You won't, I won't know I'm looking at you. He knows our insecurities. He knows our weaknesses. He knows us. But he still called us. And the strong hand of the Lord, I can say, is upon everybody in this room. The strong hand, say the strong hand of the Lord. Is upon, is upon my life. God called me, God called me for, such for such a time as this. And as long as I breathe breath, as as I breathe breath in, my body, in my body, I will do, I will do what God has called me to do. I will press into the more of God. I will not be weary in well doing because in due season I shall reap because I will not faint. No matter how bad it looks in the natural realm, I trust God to bring me out, to bring me through, and to bring me over. And I prophesy over myself this night, February 3rd, 2018, that the worst is over for me and the best is yet to come. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. God chose me. He loves me. He forgives me. He restores me. He heals me. He's for me. And if God be for me, who can be against me? And I take it all by faith and deposit it in my spirit. In Jesus' name. 
If you receive that gift, God, the best praise you can give them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I think we can praise God. Come on, let's give God a better love. Oh, shout out my Sia. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm through. God bless you, Facebook family. I hope you were blessed tonight. Hope you were blessed tonight. YouTube, we love you. Come see us in New Jersey. God bless you. Let's give our, our audience a hand of praise as we go around the world through the word of God and through